I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek, but I'll just tell you a little something, something I've been working on. Okay, gosh. <laughs> you see the personality switch? Anyway. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you and this week is a good week And I'm gonna tell you why I have a huge announcement I'm like nervous even talking about it Okay So this week I wanted to Talk about something that's very dear to my heart something that I have been working on for about three years now and that I'm finally putting into action in the next month. And I just can't wait to tell you. Okay, I'm saying it out loud for the first time. So I am starting my own business. It's crazy every time I say it out loud, I like, I can't believe it. So where do I begin? In the summer of 2018, um, I went to California to visit my best friend Tyler and it was hands down the best summer I've ever had in my entire life. It was just a, it was a great summer. And what I remember so much about that time is that I was still a fresh believer. I think I was a year, a year in. Uh, it was the summer before I got baptized and it was just a great time of like living in my youth with my friend and I went to Disney for the first time it was just like a dream and I remember one day me and my best friend were getting ready for the day we were just doing our makeup and we were just I don't know what started the conversation but I think we were just talking about like insecurities and self-worth and just our identity and uh, and so my best friend and I just randomly were like oh my gosh like what if the makeup that we used every single day even though whether we thought we needed it or not what if the makeup was like christian based what if it had like scripture as soon as you opened it you like read scripture and how would that have changed the way we started our day how we viewed ourselves um and we were like oh and then we were thinking what if there were shadow eyeshadow names of like people from the bible and it was just like all these cool ideas that were coming up and at the time it felt so like a huge idea like it was like this is like groundbreaking because i've never to this day have i've never heard of, of faith-based cosmetic lines nothing inspired by scripture i've never heard of this idea before and the whole point was to just solidify the fact that if we just meditated on god's word and his truth over us and our identity in him over us every day when we put on our makeup how different would our lives be how much more could we see jesus within ourselves and really appreciate ourselves and our worth and it was just a great idea and then the, that fall school started i was a sophomore in college and that just like went out the window i mean like life kicked in and the idea was just it just was an idea it was just something that we talked about but i was still really into it so i remember i i did a powerpoint i came up with like a name uh eden like the garden of eden um and that was it, it was just a PowerPoint and it, and it stayed there for two and a half years. Um, and then it always just became like a story, like yeah, like me and my best friend came up with this idea, we wanna do it one day, you know, a one day kind of story. And then, the year 2020, um, I had just graduated school a year early and I don't know what it was, but I felt such a, such a tug on my heart to start researching this idea again um and the first thing i did was pray 
I prayed and I was like, God, if this is something that you gave me and Tyler as an idea, if this is something that, um, that will help people and that will bring glory to your name and that will help believers um, truly remain confident in who they are in you and their worth, if this will bring new believers to you, Lord, give me answers, like tell me what to do next. Um, I was reading Ezekiel, my Bible study was Ezekiel at the time, and at the last few chapters it talks about the vision of the new temple. And I was like, this, this seems like interesting. And I remember throughout my prayer journal, I wrote a prayer down and I came up, the Lord gave me the, the name New Eden. And I guess it was just like another way to describe the new city, the new Jerusalem, um, the new Eden is what came up. And I was like, hmm, that's, that sounds really cool. And I, I think I was still processing the, this cosmetic line, but it, I was very, just very focused on this chapter. And a couple weeks later, I finished off the book of Ezekiel and it ends with uh, this scripture, Ezekiel 48, 35. It says, and the name of the city from that time on shall be the Lord is there. And basically the Lord is there, meaning that like in this new city, in this new life, in this new reality, the Lord will, will be present with us, not just his Holy Spirit like it is now. And I was just like, wow, like New Eden, a time where the Lord is there. That is the name of the city. And I was it was just mind blowing to me and at that moment I was like, okay, God, this cosmetic line is not going to be called Eden. It's not going to be called uh, Eden because of the Garden of Eden in Genesis. It's going to be called New Eden because of the new city that you have prepared for us. And every time someone reads this name, they're going to know that one day we will be in whole complete unity with our Lord and, and I just I was like that is a sign like we're, we're gonna do this guy like we're doing this together after that TikTok really gave me a lot of the answers there's uh, a lot of new small business small businesses that have come out of TikTok and I got basically all of my tips from there it was so helpful I mean actually doing it is much harder than I thought it would be but I um, instantly started looking for suppliers. That took me like three, four months. It took me a long time to find a supplier. But as soon as I found a supplier, I started talking to them about my ideas. I started praying and brainstorming everything that the Lord was uh, giving me throughout the day and my Bible studies and what I would pray about, um, direction for New Eden Cosmetics. Um, I decided, you know, what products I was gonna start for the launch, um, what the packaging will look like, what the overall message and values of the company would be. Um, I wrote a business plan, just like all the like groundwork I had started, I was just like elevating on top of that. And so before I get into everything else that I did, I want to just talk about what uh, the mission of New Eden Cosmetics is. So our purpose is to glorify God and reaffirm your identity in Christ, to spread the message of beauty through the most perfect image of God on earth, you and me. And I just love that because it sheds light on God and it sheds light on his kingdom. And um, it reminds us that we are in the image of God. You know, like when you think about it, you hear that so often, but it's just unbelievable to think that God Almighty, you know, all holy, all pure, we are created in his image. Like, and I think that it's a great, great way to connect um, cosmetics and beauty to the way that God created you, which is perfect, which is wonderfully made, you know, um, and our values. So our first value is identity. New Eden Cosmetics wants to remind everyone, all of our supporters and customers, that you are a masterpiece, a child of God, never lacking and perfect in God's sight. Verse. The verse that I prayed about for God to give me to be the overall verse for the company is Ephesians 2.10. Um, this is very dear to my heart, especially as a woman, especially um, 
as women in this society, we are constantly told how we're supposed to look, how we're supposed to act. And I totally see a shift happening in the world today where women are reclaiming our, our beauty, are reclaiming our worth and our identity. And this is just another way to remind us that our identity lies in Jesus. He holds the key. And in him, we lack nothing. And in him, in God's sight, he truly sees us as a masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10 is, for you are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Jesus, in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. And I just love that verse so much because one, it reminds us um, how God sees us. It reminds us that, that in Jesus we are created anew. Um, and that he plans great things for us. And he planned it since day one. God planned this the, the very day this is when he created the earth and created light. He planned this with Jesus in mind. Jesus had us in mind when he was dying on the cross. And so it's just so many great points that are in that one verse. Um, and so our second value is a servant's heart. So New Eden is a Christian-based company. And we want to lead the way of purpose and vision for the beauty industry. So one thing that was really tugging on my heart is that the beauty industry is a big reason why we feel like we need things to look better, to, to cover ourselves or cover our imperfections. And I wanted to change the narrative. I want women to be able to feel like they can wear makeup, not because they have to, but because they want to. Not because it adds value to them, but because they want to and we should be able to feel like that you know without any pressure of the industry telling us what we should and shouldn't do um, and the third is our foundation each and every product will be inspired by and founded on scripture so this is where I think the the meat of, of this company is every single product is going to be inspired by scripture whether that be uh, tied to a specific person in the Bible, uh, a theme in the Bible, um, a revelation or a word, everything will be completely and physically engraved. And like I want scripture on the packaging as much as possible, but also to be prayed over the products and over the company in general, it's gonna be 100% faith-based. Um, and I think that's where a lot of the power lies. Um, and I'm also a big believer on all the resources that God gives us is to be put back into his kingdom. And so I'm just so excited to see how this is gonna help other women, how it's going to um, give them the confidence and the peace and the worth that they already have in Jesus and just amplify that um, and spread that. Um, and so that is our purpose and our mission. So one, one of my concerns is that I know there's still a whole, it's 2020, but there's still a whole discussion about should Christians even wear makeup? Like, what is the line? And there are so many verses in the Bible about how women should, uh, should act and behave and approach. And a lot of it, the main theme of those verses is that women shouldn't care about the outer appearance. Um, and it's more and it's only about what's within us and our heart and our character um, and I think it's because in the Old Testament and still today it's so easy for women to see their outer beauty as something that can be promiscuous I know before I came to Christ I was just all like I'm a baddie you know like I can do whatever I want, whatever I want, I can get whatever man I want. And a lot of that reflected in what I wore and my makeup and just like my appearance overall. And I think the whole point and why God is wants us to be careful about this is that that is not the righteous life that he has for us. Um, and so I'm a be I believe and I 100% think that it's okay for believers, for Christian women to wear makeup. I see nothing wrong with that. Um, I think it's the underlining purpose of why you're doing it. Um, if you're doing it to get attention or to find worth or to be promiscuous, then backtrack, you know? But if you're doing it because you just love the art of makeup um, and you 
truly believe that with or without it, you are worthy and deserving of love and know that you are whole in Jesus, then why not? <laughs> then you should, you know? So I know without a doubt that this, um, this is something that God put in my heart. I know this is something that he wants to instill in his children and um, I'm so excited for what he's going to do and the hearts that he's going to reach through this. I've been working so hard, um, just the business logistics side of it, but also, I mean, I've had to be an accountant, I've had to be a designer, a graphic designer, a marketing expert, I mean, I've had to literally do everything. I, by the grace of God, I had the finances to invest in this myself and he's just making it work and I'm so excited. So that is the good news. I'm starting my own cosmetic line called New Eden Cosmetics. I want you guys to be a part of the journey and I want you guys to um, just be a part of this with me and support me in any way you can. Like and share. Um, I'm going to put all New Eden Cosmetics social media in the bio not in the bio, in the description. Um, I've also been posting like my journey on TikTok, so I'm going to put my TikTok information on there too. And this is officially my, I can't believe this, this is me officially revealing what I've been working on. I one more thing. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek, not like a physical sneak peek, but I'll just tell you a little something, something or whatever, what I've been working on. Okay, gosh. You see the personality switch? Anyway, so the first collection that I'm going to be launching with New Eden Cosmetics is inspired by Genesis, the first book of the Bible. You know we gotta start there. Um, I'll give you one more hint. I'm starting out with three products. Three, you heard it here first. I'm so excited. I hope this reached someone. And I hope this has encouraged you to uh, keep up and stay updated on New Eden Cosmetics and everything we're doing. We are launching March, March 9th, 2021. It should be the week before spring starts, so you already know, <laughs> new beginnings. Can't wait, please join me. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of you so much.